Am I the asshole? For making homemade food for everyone except my brother's stepdaughter? I am not a professional chef, but I have taken a bunch of cooking classes and love making elaborate meals for friends and family. About two years ago my brother, Greg married Cheryl. Cheryl has a daughter from a previous relationship Becca, 9F who has several health conditions, including celiac and a severe dairy allergy that requires her to carry an EpiPen. Last weekend I hosted a dinner at my house for my parents' wedding anniversary. I made a fancy five-course dinner and in addition to my parents, I invited four close family friends, Greg, Cheryl, and Becca, and my sister, her boyfriend and their twins both ate M. Because of Becca's food restrictions, I found a restaurant in town that specializes in gluten-free, dairy-free as well as other allergen-free food, and arranged for them to make a full meal for Becca that I could pick up in advance of the party. I have made a variety of speciality meals. In the past for example, keto meals when my friend was following that diet and I liked the challenge, but knowing how serious Becca's restrictions were, I didn't trust myself to make her meal. I have ADHD and get easily distracted, and if I even used the wrong spoon or didn't completely wash some flour off a bowl, it could make her incredibly sick. I thought the takeout solution was fine, but when I served the food, I saw Cheryl looking at Becca's plate with a stony face. For her part, Becca started eating and seemed fine. Cheryl whispered to Greg, and Greg asked if he could talk to me in the kitchen. When we got there he said that it was unbelievable that I couldn't be bothered to make something for Becca, that they'd been bragging about what a great cook I am to her, and that he knew I'd made keto, vegan, and other complicated kinds of food in the past now she would feel left out because she didn't get to eat what the rest of the family was eating. He said that it was obvious that I didn't care about making his stepdaughter feel like a part of the family, and that they were leaving. Greg. Cheryl and Becca then left, which put a damper on the rest of the party. I felt like I did my best at the time, but in hindsight, I wonder if I should have tried harder to make Becca feel included since she is a relatively new addition to our family. Am I the asshole? I would flat out say, I was worried I would kill her. It's not that I don't care about her it's that I care about her enough to ensure I don't accidentally harm her. You might also point out that allergies are very different from preferences like keto. Also, usually it's the people with the allergies pointing that out WTF is going on here? If anyone questions you or gives you shit, use words like hospitalize or kill. It may sound dramatic, but those are legitimate fears, and that blunt wording will help get the point across. I thought that was a great solution and honestly thought this was going another way. Other kids wanted take out lol. Not the asshole. If you accidentally made a keto meal wrong, it would upset their diet. It sounds like if you made Becca's meal incorrectly, she could have a major medical issue. You're not wrong for not wanting that stress on you. With all of those allergies and conditions that Becca has, Cheryl should have been calling you and asking you what she can do to help with this dinner regarding feeding her own daughter. That is certainly what I would have done. I have a teenage son who has severe allergies and celiac, as well as IBS. I have never have gone anywhere without discussing what the choices are for his meal and whether or not I should be providing it when we go along. Cheryl is the R. Your brother is caught up in her behavior and is also the R. Your behavior was kind, thoughtful, and generous. Not the asshole. Did your brother understand the reason why you ordered her a special meal? That you were concerned about doing something that might make her sick? My sill has food restrictions and I have never heard her say anything but appreciation when others have done something similar for her. Not the asshole. Celiac and dairy allergies are no joke, and while it's certainly possible to make a gluten and dairy free meal in a regularly home kitchen, there's always a possibility of contamination. You did what you thought was safest. They are the R's for overreacting and making the event all about them, especially when it seems like Becca wasn't bothered.
Not the asshole you cooked a five-course meal for a bunch of people and out of an abundance of caution bought food for the one person who could suffer if you fucked up then one of those people unnecessarily and without really thinking about your effort and your concern took umbrage at that you are definitely in the clear here. For some reason, I read that and felt sad for you. I'm honestly in disbelief you thought you did something wrong. You were incredibly thoughtful in how you handled ensuring she had a meal suitable for her. You have ADHD and are well aware that mistakes are so easily made so to ensure you didn't seriously put this child's health in danger, you decided the safest option was to contact a restaurant to provide something. I can't stress this enough, you are not the asshole. Not the asshole. My husband found out last year that he has celiac, and it has been a challenge to adjust our shopping and cooking habits. We had consultations with a dietitian, and it is unbelievable the ways that gluten can get into food. Your sil should be grateful that you took so much consideration for her daughter's health by assuring that she got a meal free of allergens. Not the asshole. You did take into account her dietary restrictions and did your best to ensure that she would have a delicious meal provided to her that would be safe for her to eat. It sounds to me like there's more at issue here than the meal though, just based on the language that was used and some of the details of the story. I don't want to make too many assumptions, but Cheryl sounds like a piece of work. Not the asshole, but you brother and Silla. Not the asshole. I think what you did to get her that meal was amazing and so thoughtful of you. If someone did this for my stepkids, I would be thrilled. Anyone saying your TA is seriously messed up. The child didn't seem to mind and still got to eat. Plenty of other people wouldn't have done what you did. Brother still sound ungrateful. Not the asshole. There's a difference between a preference and a safety requirement. If you made a mistake it could have seriously injured this poor girl. You don't operate an allergen-free kitchen and your brother should be grateful that you ensured a safe, quality meal for her. Not the asshole. This is not a you-woo I don't eat spinach and I hate mushrooms kind of thing, this is a potentially life-threatening thing. People who are this allergic can get a reaction from simple cross-contamination. I would not have risked it either. You paid for professionals to provide her a safe and yummy meal. Not the asshole it's weird that her parents would rather risk her allergies to get her a homemade meal so that she's eating what everyone else eats instead of her actually getting a special meal so she didn't get sick or you know, die you were cautious and didn't want to risk it, good on you. And if something were to happen if you made it homemade, they would blame you for it. Not the asshole. Do they even like their daughter? You had every good reason not to cook for her. I don't enjoy cooking, but I can. And I made a great celiac friendly meal for a couple friends once. I thought I did everything right, but my buddy was still sick at the end of the night. Luckily it was just discomfort, but it could have been worse. Now I refuse to cook for people who have serious allergies. I will not be responsible for making someone sick. And if that makes me a bad guy, I'll gladly be the villain. Not the asshole. Watch out for your sill, the overreaction seems like she's looking for reasons to alienate him from your family. They just left. No discussion or possibility for solution. That's what stands out to me the most.